Welcome back to another episode of CTV. Let's start off with Tay and Sophia and Nathan to see what people will get at rummage sales. This week on CTV, we are checking out what will people get at rummage sales. Let's check it out. I'm here with Eric and what do you look for at a rummage sale? Uh, a little bit of everything, you know, anything that's valuable that could be resold on eBay. <laughs> that's amazing. I'm here with Mrs. Sandager and what would you buy at a rummage sale? Um, if I was going to go to a rummage sale right now, we'd probably be looking for uh, new kitchen chairs because <laughs> we need them. Nice. I'm here with Mr. Peterson. What would you get at a rummage sale? I'll tell you what, instead of what I would get at a rummage sale, why don't I show you a couple things in my museum that I have gotten at a rummage sale, including a 1954 Smith Corona typewriter, as well as, if you move this way, a 1951 projector. So pretty cool stuff. Laverne is having a citywide rummage sale. Sounds like fun. Now back to the nest. Hopefully those people can find what they're looking for. Let's go to Lashad and Parker so you can find where to purchase your yearbooks. This week we interviewed Roz about the 2020 to 2021 yearbook. Check it out. So Roz, when are the yearbooks available to purchase? You can purchase them now. Ninja. And who's editing the yearbook this year? It's Caitlin Anderson, Gracie's Whiskey, and I. And why should I buy a yearbook? There's a lot of good pictures in there, and it's a very good theme, and it will give you something to remember this year by. So how would I want to buy one of these, or where? what could I do to get one? So you can look at these posters, and there's a QR code that you can scan, and it will take you to an online route to purchase it. Or you can go to the activities office. So to the left, there's a box where you can put the, your slip and money in, and these are the forms. Thank you. <laughs> oh, I can't wait to go back and look at all those memories. Back to the nest. I'm excited to get my yearbook. Now let's go to Sadie, Roz, and Mackenzie for TikTok Trendy Treats. This week on CTV, we decided to take a break from Senior Spotlight. We're checking out TikTok Trendy Treats. Take a look. You'll need four Oreos, a fourth a cup of milk, a mug, a fork, and a microwave. The first step is to crush all of your Oreos in the bag. Once you get them all mushed up, you can put them into the mug. After you're done mushing them up, you can put the milk in the mug. After you're done with that, you want to stir it all up. And finally, you put it in the microwave for 75 seconds. Then, you can enjoy it. I'm here with Sick Miller, and Sick Miller, try that out. Oh. All right, it looks pretty nummy. <laughs> nummy. <laughs> um, ooh, it is kind of cake-like. Uh-huh. Oh, hot! <laughs> it does taste like Oreos and kind of like cake, but I think I like just the Oreos better. Okay, thank you. <laughs> that turned out better than we thought it would. Back to the nest. The drive-in probably has better treats than that. Let's go to Cody, Blake, and Zach to learn about the drive-in opening. This week on CTV, we interviewed Doug, the owner of the drive-in, about the drive-in opening. Check it out. I'm here with the owner of the drive-in, Doug Roseboom. Uh, when is the drive-in opening? Uh, we're open for our first weekend on April 23rd, Friday here. Um, and then the April 24th, we are open 
just on the weekends until what may the 30th what movies are playing for this first weekend of the 23rd and the 24th the movies that are playing are godzilla vs kong rated pg-13 and uh, wonder woman 1984 also rated pg-13 are there any changes to the covid going on uh not too much i mean we uh, just advise people to do what they feel comfortable with you know we also do have fan food which uh is for people if they want to order their concessions from their uh from their phone so they don't have to wait in line for their concessions and you know just what people are comfortable with if they feel like wearing a mask in here that would be great just you know all right thank you thank you much cody wow I can't wait to go to the drive-in this weekend. Back to the nest. Thanks, guys. Now let's go to Bailey, Riley, and Zach for sports. Welcome back to another week of sports. Check it out. The boys hosted Pipestone on Thursday. The boys had a close game but came out on top with a 3-2 win. The boys then hosted TMB the following day. The boys destroyed the TMB with a score of 22-0 in only five innings. The girls traveled to Pipestone for a doubleheader. The girls fell in the first game 0 to 10 and 1 to 15 in the second. The track team hosted Blue Earth, St. James, and Marshall. Both the boys and girls had outstanding performances and improvements. The boys team got second with a score of 83 and the girls got first with a score of 118. The golf team hosted Hills Beaver Creek on Thursday. The boys won 167 to 200. Henry Harquist led the team with a score of 40. The girls won 210 to 241, with Paige Sambolt leading the team with a score of 48. The tennis team traveled to Blue Earth on Thursday. The boys won with a score of 5 to 2 and improved to 2-0 on the season. That's it for this week. Now back to the nest. Hopefully those sports seasons continue to go well. Now let's go to Dylan, Isaac, and Caden for gibberish phrases. This week on CTV, we went around and see if people can read gibberish. Take a look. So now I'm here with Burke. And can you read this phrase? Wand her womb hand. Uh, yeah, I, I, don't know, I don't know what that means. It means Wonder Woman. Okay, now we're here with Mrs. Fettis. And Mrs. Fettis, what is this phrase? A blessing. Is it Abe Lincoln? Got nothing. A blessing. Yeah. I'm here with Zach, and Zach, what is this trying to say? Um, pretty shy, a British accent. You are right. I'm here with Gavin, and Gavin, what is this trying to say? Um, see you later? Yeah. Yeah. See yeah. you later. So now I'm here with Russell, and Russell, what does this phrase say? Keep herb high D does hen. So what does that mean? Oh, I don't know. Um, a heap of herds, hens, and a high herb. <laughs> it was cheaper by the dozen. What? I'm here with John, and John, your phrase is this. YMCA? That is correct. Wow, they were really bad. Bye. Now let's go to Gavin to learn why people got the COVID vaccine. This week on CTV, me and Gavin asked people why they got the COVID-19 vaccine. Check it out. All right, we're here with Sadie and Mackenzie. Uh, why did you get vaccinated? Um, I want to go out and do fun things without the fear of getting it and spreading it even more. And then, did you get sick after your shot? I did. I got very nauseous, and I was just very tired. Nice. All right, we're here with Gurkatron. Now, why did you get the COVID vaccine? Well, I did it so I was protected from the COVID-19, and also it was just more beneficial for my family if I got it. Did the shot hurt? It didn't hurt. I know I got sick the day after, so that wasn't great. But other than that, it was okay. Nice. All right, we're here with Mrs. Cook. Why did you get vaccinated? Um, I just wanted to do my part in hopes that we can get back to more normal. 
um, and it's a pretty easy thing to get vaccinated, so I didn't see it as a huge deal. And then did you get sick after any of your shots? I did after the second one, but it literally lasted like 12 hours and all was good again, so not a big deal. All right, thank you. That was some pretty sick stuff. Back to the nest. That's it for this week. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching. watching.